All the objects and living beings we see in our daily life have mass. For centuries, scientists thought that matter and energy are not related. However, in the beginning of 20th century, Albert Einstein explained that matter and energy are basically the same. Einstein described this relation quantitatively with his famous equation E equals mc square. E stands for energy, m for mass, and c for the speed of light, which is a constant. When an object is at rest, it still has some intrinsic energy. This energy is called the rest mass or rest energy. We have talked about massive things so far, but what about light? The equation implies that even a photon must behave as if it has a mass which is non-zero, as long as it has a non-zero energy. With good telescopes, we can observe that light is being bent by massive galaxies, which act as lenses, allowing us to look behind these galaxies and proving Einstein's theory. Since the speed of light is a large quantity, the energy of even a light object can become very big when it is moving. The experiments at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN have protons accelerated to velocities very close to the speed of light. At these energies, a proton has an effective mass equivalent to a factor of 7,000 of its rest energy. Since mass and energy are equivalent, the universe is regarded as a mass-energy distribution. The matter we see constitutes only 4% of this distribution. The rest is made up of dark matter and dark energy.